Hello, I'm Ross Asquith. I did the pictures for Babies, Babies Everywhere, written by Mary Hoffman. And today I'm going to draw you a baby. So round in a circle for the baby's head. Done a little ear there, you can see. Do a tiny bit of ear here. Two little dots for the eyes. We'll put the baby in a romper suit, I think. That's what babies seem to wear. I could, we can colour that in later. Just very simple in pencil. Do its little hands. You'll find babies' hands are tiny when they're new. Absolutely tiny. Now, I don't know if you've got a baby in your house, but if you have, you may find it howls rather a lot. So, should we do this baby howling away? The little frown and lots of tears. Or maybe we should make the baby happy. I think we should. You know, if you've got a baby, or if you know any babies, one way to cheer them up is to very gently tickle them or play peekaboo. Just smile at them in a kind way or sing, sing a little lullaby. It's a song for babies. And then after a while, when they're about six weeks old, you'll find they can smile. And they do. And then they start to giggle. So that's really fun. So that's your first stage of drawing your baby. The next stage is to go over the pencil lines in ink. You can see I've done most of it here. I'll just finish off the little hand. And uh, should we give the baby a collar? And some buttons. There we are. And now for the really fun bit. First you want to rub out the pencil lines. There's still a couple of tears there. Oh dear. And you can rub the pencil lines out of your drawing there. And then the fun bit comes next, which is painting. And you can think what you want your baby to look like and what you want your baby to wear. So I'm just using ordinary watercolour paint here. baby's face. I think this baby is rather happy. Perhaps you've, <coughs> perhaps you've made a little joke or tickled the baby. And there we are. Fill in the fingers. And I reckon a really nice bright sunshine yellow baby grow. If you were drawing your baby grumpy you might want to, to use that as a thought of doing a rather gloomy looking baby grow. I, I don't know if you can buy a gloomy baby grow. Uh, so this baby is in sunshine yellow and we can do some more, we could do some patterns on that. I'm using a felt tip pen to do that but you can use coloured pencils obviously or paints, anything you like to do your cheerful baby. You might do a cheerful baby or a tearful baby. And in the book, Babies, Babies Everywhere, there is one set of twins. <coughs> there are five families, but six babies. That's because one family has a set of twins. And you might notice if you look carefully that one of the twins is always grumpy and the other one is always happy. Uh, and you might also notice a little boy who isn't very fond of the new baby. He's rather bad tempered about it, but he does get fond of the baby in the end when the baby learns his name. So now, do we want our baby to be bald? I think I've found a sort of a way to give this baby some hair. So I put a bit of glue on top of the baby's head and I've got some ordinary sewing cotton and I'm just gonna dab that there. And I think that makes one. <laughs> it makes quite a funny little head of hair, doesn't it? And slightly more hair than a lot of babies have. Whoops. Anyway, you could always trim that with scissors. Uh, 
so you can make your baby like that if you like or do any kinds of different colors patterns you can have great fun drawing a baby especially if they can wear anything and we tend to wear sort of not quite such exciting clothes as we get older don't we but there's your baby there are lots more babies I've drawn in Babies Babies Everywhere by Mary Hoffman and I really hope you enjoy the book and thank you so much for watching me draw a baby. Bye!